Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. On such a day, on the 2nd of Muharram, which was a Thursday in the year 61 after Hijrah, Imam Hussein alayhi salam arrived to the land of Karbala. Imam Hussein had received thousands of letters from the people of Kufa, requesting, pleading him to join them and lead the people's uprising against the tyrannical Umayyad government. Imam Hussein had already left Medina and Mecca heading towards Kufa when he received the sad news of the betrayal and the martyrdom of his cousin and his delegate Muslim ibn Aqil alayhi salam. He still continued on his journey to Iraq. On his way with his companions and family members, he was stopped by one of Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad's commanders. His name was Hur ibn Yazid al-Riyahi, and under him were 1,000 soldiers. Hur was given the command that he must not allow Imam Hussein to enter into Kufa and must stop him then and there in the open barren desert. As we know, Hur was captivated by the akhlaq and kindness of Imam Hussein and was soon to join Aba Abdullah's camp and be martyred alongside him. Imam Hussein asked, what was this area? What was this land? What was this place called? And they said to him, Karbala. He then said, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-karbi wal-bala. It was on this day that he said his famous statement, this is the place of anguish and calamity. This is the destination of our caravan and where we will stay. This is where our men will be killed. Here is where our blood will be spilled. This journey from Mecca al mukarramah all the way to the land of Karbala took Imam Hussein around about 24 to 25 days. Now, I'd like to ask this following question. Such an event of Karbala was a really big incident. It really shook the whole Muslim Ummah. But why is it that only the Shia remember Imam Hussein's tragedy? Why is it that only the Shia remember this saga, this event? Why don't our Sunni brethren at least remember this event? Okay, we understand that they don't believe in the concept of mourning the way we do, but why not just remember the grandson of your own Prophet Wasallam? This is really sad. You know, in most places where they mention the historic events that took place in the month of Muharram, there's no mentioning of the tragedy of Karbala at all, nothing. This is a genuine question and hopefully one day we will all be able to unite in remembering the tragedy of Ashura. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.